welcome welcome collective um back again with another message from spirit hope all is doing uh well um glad to have you join me once again newcomers glad to have you too as well um remember to only take what resonates and leave what does not okay remember to reverse the roles um energy is fluid it could be either masculine or feminine okay um, this is a general message. Whenever you hear this message, it's when you're supposed to receive it. So with that being said, we're going to get into what Spirit has to say today, okay? Um, the energy I'm getting here so far, Collective, is that uh, somebody's making somebody choose. They say, you're going to have to choose one of us. Okay, so somebody's in a position right now where they're going to have to choose somebody. And they're be being very, very adamant about it, uh, collective, uh, to the point to where even somebody may be angry um, if somebody doesn't choose them. Okay, we're going to check the energy here. What's the energy here? Universe Advanced Spirit for my collective, for my cosmic gods and goddesses, please and thank you. What's the energy here? Please and thank you. Yeah, somebody's wanting somebody to choose between the two. We're going to see what this is all about. What's the message here, Spirit? Please and thank you. What's the message here? We have grace here. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. We have transparency. What else is here, Spirit? So thank you. Divine Spirit, what else is here? We have surrender. Surrender was in the reverse. And divine feminine feminine is on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so the energy that I'm getting here is that someone's not willing to go anywhere, not willing to let someone go. Okay. Well they want to um uh, hmm they want a little bit more insight here. Okay, or something before they let something go. Maybe um, the energy I'm getting here is they they want to um, hmm, they want to bridge something here. Possibly want to keep something together. They're not willing to let something go. So let's dig a little deeper and see what's going on here, because it's saying here that somebody's going to have to choose one of us. Okay, somebody's going to have to choose one of us. Hmm. What do we have here, Spirit? Please thank you. What messages do you have my, for my collective? Yeah, somebody's not willing to let go here. They're definitely not willing to let go. They want some things explained to them, okay? I'm hearing this here. They try to be nice, but being nice wasn't good enough is what I'm hearing. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you do, Spirit? Please and thank you. Hmm. What's the message here for the collective? Please and thank you. And somebody ain't willing to let go so easily. I wouldn't have let go easily here. Yep. We have the, the a page of cups here. And I want you to go to somebody else. That's what I'm getting here. Collective. Divine fam. Getting that I want to let this go. They need some more answers. But they're not willing to give you up. 
That's what I'm getting here. What else do we have here, Spirit? Yeah. They wanted to defend their position in your life, Divine Femme. They're not willing to let you go here. Seven of Pentacles. They feel like they put too much work into this uh, relationship or partnership to let you go. Yeah. Yeah. We had a Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they are. Uh, they're they're willing to to put more into this relationship, to be more open, but they don't want to let let it go. Okay, and they're willing to defend it. They're willing to defend it because they feel like they put too much work into it. They don't they don't want um, you to go to someone else. Wow. What do we have here, spirit? What's going on here, Spirit? Collective, please and thank you. Please clarify. You're going to have to choose between the two. So the energy I'm getting here is that this person is willing to fight for you, uh, Divine Femme, Divine Masculine. They are actually willing to fight for you. I feel like they put a lot of work into this uh, relationship, into this union. They're not letting go that easy. What do we have here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Yeah. They're saying it's not it's not over. They're not gonna let you go. Okay. Uh well, either this is about another um uh, masculine or another feminine. But they're whoever this is, they're not gonna let they're not gonna let the person go. If you have another man they're not going to let you go. If you have another woman, they're not going to let you go masculine. This is what I'm getting here. Wow. What else is here, Spirit? And they're willing to fight for you, too. Because they feel like they put a lot of work into this. They're not giving up. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. What is here for the collective? It says uh, self indulgence is here. Yeah, uh, they're feeling like if you get got with somebody else, they wouldn't uh, appreciate you as much as uh, your person does. Um, yeah, and they're wanting to heal anything that's that went wrong in you guys' relationship, and they're willing to fight for it. They're willing to fight for you. That's what I'm getting here. Wow. Yeah. I'm getting here that they feel like you're, you're a new person. Um, divine Femme, Divine Masculine is uh, malicious. Are they trying to, you know, deceive you in some kind of way or, you know, hurt you in some kind of way? Okay. Possibly have you looking over your shoulder. Basically, they don't think that you're safe with, the, with the, your new person that you have now. And so they don't want to let you go. Because they feel like they put too much work in it. And so now they're wanting to come back and defend their relationship with you. What else is here? Whoa, that's too many. I'll take them. We have the clock here. Like I said, they feel like they put a lot of time in or whatever. And um, they're hoping that they can heal this um, union with you. Um, I'm here no matter how, how long it takes, but wow, they're willing to give you a little time if you need time to heal if they hurt you in some type of way, but they still want to progress towards you, uh, Divine Femme, Divine Masculine, because they have a lot of passion for you, okay, wow, lots of passion for you, wow, they feel like, you know, you, you guys, like, belong together, okay, and like I said, they're willing to fight for you, to get, you know, to keep you, to get you back, okay, Wow. Hmm. What else do we have here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Yeah, they don't think nobody else deserves you but them. So I'm, I'm, I'm also getting obsession here. Obsession. This person is kind of demanding, but they want you back, okay? They don't want time to run out or too much time and space to be in between y'all break up. Here is what I'm getting here. Wow. 
because they believe in the relationship that y'all had. This is past, present, and future energy here, okay? They believe in the relationship y'all had. And they believe that it's worth waiting for. It's worth healing, you know. It's worth putting the work into it. Because they put a lot of work into it, they feel. Okay? And they don't want you to get with somebody that's, you know, um, going to mistreat you or something like that. They feel that this other person that you may have got with is going to mistreat you somehow or something like that. Hmm. You might see your ex, you know, just popping up in different places or something like that. Um, maybe calling you more often. Uh, this is because they're worried about you. Because they want you back. Okay? They're feeling like they can heal. You guys can heal from whatever your breakup was all about. Um, they may be calling your family members, calling your friends. Wow. Wow. Yeah, because they don't want you to end up in a karmic relationship with somebody. Yeah, and they feel like, uh, well, that they don't want you to, to be hurt by someone else. They realize they hurt you, but they don't want you to hurt nobody else. Like, this is the energy of, like, um, I know I hurt you, but, you know, I, I still love you, okay? I want another opportunity. I'm not going to give up on being with you. But I don't want anybody to send you through anything. Okay. Because I've sent you through enough. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. We have girl talk here. So maybe they feel like you're a uh, divine film. Um, it's just it's going to move on because you got a lot of people in your ear. Okay. Like. You know, you're having a lot of fun, you know, while you're living in the moment here. Yeah, you're spending a lot more time with, with your friends uh, versus uh, when you when you and your partner, um, your ex was together. You're spending a lot more time with your friends. You're, you're hanging out a lot more. You're doing things, uh, more things than normal here. And your ex is, is, is concerned about that, okay? Even though they know that you guys have, have broken up or things haven't, you know, being right with you guys things have been rocky and that's why you guys separated um they still have a lot of passion for you and they don't want a lot of t time and space to come in between y'all's uh breakup here is what i'm getting here they don't want to give up on the relationship they actually want you back okay they feeling like if you did get with somebody new that that um uh, that that's a karmic relationship that that person is going to somehow you know hurt hurt you or harm you in some kind of way okay be it the other man or the other woman take it how it resonates and they know that they don't have a lot of time uh, to make things right with you okay that's what i'm getting here thank you spirit what else is here spirit Yeah, they don't want they don't want somebody else to make a, a offer to you today okay wow yeah we have not today here okay if somebody else if they decided if your uh, ex decided to talk to somebody else another uh, karmic um, energy here they're not even want to talk to that karmic energy anymore they're only focused on you uh, divine film are you divine masculine yeah they uh wow they're avoiding having even conversations with with, with the karmic um, the other person they got with, but the person you got with, uh, Divine Femme, Divine Masculine, they don't want you with them because they feel like this person is not going to treat you right. They just better love you the way they love you or something like that is what I'm getting here. And they feel like they got a race against time here. So when that karmic is calling, they're not wanting to even hear nothing they got to say, period. We have mirror here. So yeah, they're reflecting back on, uh, what your relationship was, you know, you guys' relationship was or whatever. Um, they're going deep inside of them to see what they could have changed or what they could have done better here in your uh, your guys' uh, relationship. I'm speaking about your ex here, okay? Yeah. They know that, you know, they may have hurt you or uh, whatever, but they, won't, they don't want to make the same mistake twice. But now since you're with somebody else, you have a new person in your life, Divine Field, Divine Masculine. They want to uh, suddenly cut off their, their karmic okay and then come back to you and rescue you in some type of way they feel like they have to rescue you from this new person that you're with and they're willing to defend they're willing to fight for you this is what i'm getting here yeah your person is willing to fight for you to fight for your love 
they feel like, you know, you guys put a lot into your relationship <clears throat> before you broke up. And they feel like anybody, it doesn't matter the person that you're with now, if you have a new person or not, they feel like if you get with somebody else, they're not going to treat you right. This is what's concerning them. Well, what else is your spirit? What else is here for my collective? What else is here? Yeah, every time that uh, karmic calls, the one they left you for, they ain't talking to them. They definitely ain't talking to them. They focus definitely on you. Only thing they see is you. <laughs> divine feminine, divine masculine. Yeah. Wow. Matter of fact, it could be because they pissed off at the karmic. That they don't want to talk to the karmic. Because the karmic is... They feel, yeah. They want to run towards you. Divine Femme, Divine Masculine. They want to run towards you and they feel like they got to save you. <laughs> they got to save you from this karmic relationship here. From this person they consider um, somebody that's no good for you. That you possibly may have gotten with your new person. Okay. They feel like they have to save you from your new person. Yeah. We have the dragonfly in the reverse here. Hmm. Well, they found out something. It's something that your um your ex found out, okay? But things are coming to the light here, okay? They're willing to change. They're willing to change if, if you're willing to take them back. That's what I'm getting here. That they're willing to change here. They know they don't have a lot of time. And for the person that they, they left you for, or um, whatever reason you guys broke up and they may have met somebody else, not, they don't even want to talk to that person, that karmic anymore. Well, the only person they see, I want to see, is you. Collective. Feel masculine. Yeah. Well, okay, what do we have here? The Phoenix, yeah, they want a new start with you. Is what I'm getting here. They want to rekindle things, okay? Wow. Suddenly they change their mind and they want to get back with you. Suddenly they have this passion ignited inside of them that, you know, they realize how, how important you were to them, how, how precious you were to them, and how much they really loved you. And they want to come running back towards you now, okay? Wow. To them, it's like a race against time because they know you're a jewel. <laughs> Well, and they don't want you to get away. Even though you may be with somebody else, I'm telling you, they're willing to fight. They're willing to defend. They're coming back to get you. Divine Femme, Divine Masculine. If it means fighting this other person. Wow. Hmm, what else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. One more. I seen one. I was turned around. Where'd it go? It was the one that was turned around. Hmm. Well, I don't see it. Maybe it'll come out. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is the one that was sticking out. Girl with the snake here. Yeah. Divine uh, Femme. You may feel like uh, your person is uh, with somebody that's... that's uh, wow. That's... That's been used, like, you know, or maybe you know that your ex was just going to use this, this karmic um, feminine here. Okay, because you guys broke up. Okay, wow. Yeah, yeah, this, 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 this female suffers from low self-esteem anyway. She stays in the mirror all the time because she's, uh, she doesn't have a lot of self-confidence, okay? Your, your ex knew that she would be easy, you know, easy mark, you know, somebody, you know, easily to get. Um, but now he wants to run back towards you on Divine Film and, and, and get you back before it's too late here, okay? Because he said you don't want to hold the key to his heart. Wow. He's willing to change. Or she's willing to change. Take it how it resonates. Energy is fluid. It can be masculine or feminine here. Wow. Yeah, they see now. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're worried about you being heartbroken by this, uh, your ex is worried about you being heartbroken by this new, this new person, okay? And that's why they want to hurry up and come in and break you guys up, okay? Well, the, 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 your ex feels lost without you, is what they're saying here. They feel lost without you. They realize, like I said, how special you were to them. And they really feel lost, and they feel like they're running out of time um, to get back with you. And this easy um, person that was easy to get with, they don't really want to be with them. Your ex don't really want to be with them. That was just a cover, a cover up from from the pain because they were, I don't know, what was they suffering from? They were suffering from something, or maybe they were just too into themselves and didn't realize, you know, that they had a jewel, you know, that you were their jewel. You were their everything. Now they feel like they run out of time if if they don't let you know this. And like I said, they're ready to defend. They don't want anybody else but you. Is what I'm getting here. If you got if you got somebody else divine uh masculine, yeah, they coming to fight that person. If you got somebody else divine found, oh yeah, they coming to fight your person too. They wouldn't defend at all costs. Yeah. They feel like you two belong together. Like I said, they want to take things a little further. They want this union to to be back together. They want some stability um with you here. They want some security with you here. The bathroom, the bad masculine. They know they messed up. But they wanna uh they reflected and they made some necessary changes and some necessary adjustments, you know. Wow. They they don't wanna be a player no more, is what I hear. They don't wanna be a player no more. Wow. What else is here, spirit? Please and thank you. They wanna come running back to you. Whether you accept it or not, it's up to you. Whether you accept this person or not, divine from divine masculine. But they don't want to see you with nobody else. Um, from masculine, they don't want to see you with nobody else. Your ex don't want to see you with nobody else. And they will want to defend at all costs. They don't matter to them. Which means they'll 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 they're gonna do anything to win your love back. Yeah, they're willing to do anything to win your love back. To make all the necessary changes, anything to make you happy. As long as you leave the person you with and get back with your ex, that's what they want you to do. Get back with them. Well, they feel like this other person is gonna do nothing but use you, you know, charm you and use you, and they have to come in and save the day. They have to save you because they know what they did to you, and they don't want somebody else to do the same thing to you. So they're running back towards you, uh, divine film, divine masculine. Well, they only want to hear from their, their uh, third party no more. They karmic that they were with. They they focus strictly on you. And they don't want any any uh, time to run out. Like they ain't got no time to waste. Getting back to you is what I'm hearing here. It's the energy I'm getting here. Thank you, spirit. What else is here? What's well, here, spirit? Please and thank you. I'm here. They only have eyes for you. Yeah, they ain't talking to nobody. I told you their focus is just strictly on you. They don't want to play no more games. They don't want to do none of that. If y'all, if you guys aren't already married, they want to give you an engagement ring. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Yeah, they want to make a commitment. They want it to be forever is what I'm getting here, right? They want this union to be complete between the two of you. They want you to get rid of your ex. I mean, they want you to get rid of the person you wit. Your ex wants you to get rid of the person you wit and take them back, okay? Wow. Hmm. They letting go of these one-night stands that they were having because they wasn't going to commit to anybody else since you guys broke up. You and your ex, divine feminine, divine masculine, they wasn't going to commit to anybody else. That decision was already made. They don't want those options no more. Those were just one night stands. Okay, but this this person, uh, your ex has, uh, has uh, reflected on some things and they learned how special you really are to them. How, how, how truly um, they really cared about you and they want you back. They want to make this union work. That's what I'm getting here. They want want it to grow. They want stability. They want security. You know, they don't like being out there by themselves alone. 
you know, dating this person or that person. They don't like that. They said that it was it was better with you. They realize how much they truly love you now. And if you're not married, they want to engage. They want an engagement. They want a commitment. Yeah, this person is learning a karmic lesson here. Your ex is learning a karmic lesson. Now they're hoping it's not. They're hoping it's not too late. Okay, to show you how much they truly love you. Your ex wants you back here. It's the energy I'm getting here, and they're willing to defend at all costs. Okay, they're not giving up. They're not gonna give up. I'm getting you back. Yeah, we have lightning here. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they want you know that they change. They changed. Whatever problems or issues you guys were having that caused the breakup in the first place, they want you to know that they changed. They changed. They had an epiphany. Like I said, they realized how much they truly loved you, how much they truly cared for you, and they want you back. And they don't want anybody else to mistreat you. Even though they did mistreat you somehow in the past or hurt you somehow in the past, they don't want nobody else to do it. And they will fight somebody if they hurt you. They will fight somebody if they even hurt your feelings. Wow. They're not going to waste any time coming back your way either. They're trying to get back into your life. They're not going to waste any time. They're going to come in step telling you how much they love you. You know, how much they want to be with you. Okay, how, how heartbroken they've been since you guys been apart. Even though they were painted like they were okay, but they were really heartbroken. Your ex is really heartbroken. Now they want a commitment. They want some security. You know, they felt really stable with you, you know. Before you guys had this breakup, they want you back. Whatever it takes, I'm hearing. Whatever it takes. They ain't going to have no options on the, on the ring, you know. Wow. There'll be no third-party interference. I'm hearing them say there'll be no third-party interference. You ain't got to worry about it. I'm going to commit solely to you if you'll take me back. Your ex wants you back. Like I said, they got a lot of passion for you. They did some reflecting, okay? Anybody else is trying to call their phone or try to talk to them, and they tell me, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. They are truly focused on you, Divine Femme, Divine Master. They want you back. Yeah, because you're the one with the key to, the key to their heart. Okay? Wow. They don't want you to get away. Okay? You guys are soulmates. That's what they're trying to let you know here. That you guys have a soul connection, a soul contract here um, with this person. Wow, this person has unconditional love for you. Your ex. This is why they want want to want to come back to you they they're willing to fight for you um yeah well they don't want anybody else to hurt you they don't want anybody else to hurt you well and they've been watching you they've been watching you they've been stalking you yeah they've been focused strictly on you is what i'm getting here okay yeah they didn't they didn't want this ending they didn't want this ending. And for whatever reason, they, they, they you guys broke up or whatever. Whatever happened in your relationship. Okay. Uh, wow. Whether it was jealousy or frustration. Or, you know, you guys didn't have confidence in one another. Oh, wow. It was a self-sabotage by one of the two of you. Your ex felt like when they went out there, shit, they didn't find nothing that compared to you. Wow. There was nothing they could find that could could fill your shoes is what I'm getting here. They only want you. They don't want this to end. They want you back. They want to show you how much they love you. Now you guys are soulmates. You, you, you guys have a soul contract here. Okay. This person doesn't want anybody to hurt you and they don't want to hurt you either. Okay. Now they see what you truly mean to them. Okay. And they don't want this ending. They, they want to rekindle things. They want to get back in, into your life again. That's what I'm getting here. Wow. Yeah. They want to make healthier choices here now. Hmm. Anything else here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Yeah, it says you're going to have to choose uh, one of us. So, huh. What I'm getting here, Collective, is that your ex is not giving up because, wow. 
They say you guys compliment each other. Okay. And this is your twin flame here. Wow. You guys compliment each other is what I'm getting here. Yeah. You guys bring balance to each other's lives. And I don't know if you feel the same way about them. Divine Femme, Divine Master. But this is how they feel about you. And they're coming your way. They're coming your way. Okay. Yeah, they want you to cut. Cut your, cut your new person off if you have one. If you're not going to cut them off, they're going to find a way to cut them off. Even if they have to fight them. Is what they're saying. If they have to fight for you. Okay. Well. Let me get one final message out here. From the gods and goddesses deck here. See what the gods and goddesses have to say. If they have a message for you. Collective. If this person is running towards you. Your ex is running back towards you. Your ex wants you back. Okay. Found a message for the collective. I'm getting if, if if they can't have you, nobody can have you. That's the attitude they have right now. They want to make things right. They're willing to fight for you. Fight for your love. Wow. Yeah. Life force energy here. I'm saying they coming in very forceful. I mean. Not in a harmful way, but they come in and really let you know how they feel, how passionate they are about you, and how they realize that they that you're the one that they truly love. Okay, wow, they're drowning in their emotions here, though. They're putting their everything into this for you to know this. Yeah, about how much love they have for you. Yeah, we have Amotep here, the visionary. They want you to see this. You know, they want you to see them. They want you to recognize the love they have for you. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. What else is here? One more, please, and thank you. Kundalini rising here. Yeah, this person has, has, has bettered themselves. This person has did a lot of soul searching. Okay, this person knows what they want now. What they want is you, Divine Femme, Divine Masculine. What else is here? Your ex is definitely coming back your way. And if you guys weren't married, they're coming back with a proposal. If you are married, they're coming back to let you know how much they love you and how much they want to be with you. Okay, they're going to be very open about how they feel here too. Yeah, we have a past life healing here. Yeah, they've healed a lot. I told you they did a lot of soul searching here. Okay. Wow. They want to share their love with you is what I'm getting here. Wow. Okay. These two want to come out. Wow. They really want to heal something here with sacred medicine here. Okay. I, I'm, I'm getting your person did the, the, the shadow work they needed to do. Okay. And now they, they, they're ready. They're ready to be that person, that woman that you need them to be, that man that you need them to be. Okay? Wow. And they're ready to stand their ground. They're ready to stand on what they say. They're going to mean what they say and say what they mean is what I'm getting here. They, they love you. They, they realize they love you now and they want you. Okay? Wow. On the bottom of the deck, it says wise decision. So this person feels like this is the only decision. This is the wisest decision that they can make is to come back to you and tell you how much they love you, your ex. And they want you to cut off whoever you're with if you're with somebody else, okay? Because nobody fulfills them the way you do, collective, okay? Well, I'm going to end the message there. Um, thanks for joining me again, and I'll be back with another message from Spirit soon. For now, namaste.